We're concluding our teaching on the parable of the sower today, and uh, we're looking at a statement Jesus made after the parable. Matthew chapter 13, verse 16 and 17. Blessed are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. For assuredly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desire to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Many times when we look at our lives and we read the Bible and we see all the great prophets of old, we wish we lived in their days. We wish we lived in the days of Abraham, of Moses, of David, of Elijah. Uh, But we live in our days. We live in the 21st century. And Jesus was speaking to his disciples after the parable of the sower and says to them, Blessed are your eyes, for they see. So Jesus is saying to his disciples, listen, what you are seeing now is something that Elijah and Moses and Abraham and David and all these people would have wished to see. But you are seeing it now. And then he says, blessed are your ears, because these people would have wished to hear what you are hearing. In other words, Jesus is saying, pay attention to what I'm telling you, because this is precious. This is important. And, and in our time, we still see Jesus. How do we see him? Because his story was recorded for us. The gospel helped us to see Jesus. We see how he moved, how he worked. We see what he did, what he did in on a storm. We see how he healed people. We hear his words 2,000 years later. And blessed are our ears who hear the words of Jesus now. If the prophets of old had heard what we heard, they would be far more happier than they were in their time because they prophesied about the coming of Jesus, but they never saw him and they never heard him. We now, after him, can look back and we see him and we hear him because his word is still alive with us. Don't underestimate the power of the word you read now. Don't underestimate the power of the word of God that is alive to us now. So anytime you approach the word of God and read it, blessed are your eyes. Anytime you hear the word of God, blessed are your ears. You are blessed and I am blessed to be living in a time when the words and the actions of Jesus have been recorded for us. That we can believe his word and we can believe in him. And he says that we can do that works that he did. May the word of God dwell in us and bear so much fruit that we can do the works of Jesus Christ. May his word not fall on the wayside of our heart. May it fall on good ground. And may the word of God in our hearts bear fruit. And I, I don't even want it to bear 30 and 60. I want it to bear hundredfold fruit. And may you be a major doer of the word of God. May the power of God be seen in your life this day as you embrace the power of Christ and walk in his power and walk in his goodness. We walk by faith in the words of Jesus, which he still speaks to us today. Every time we read the Bible, we are hearing him. Every time we go to church, his word is exposed, we are hearing him. And in this week, we have heard him. And blessed are your eyes and blessed are your ears, which continue to hear Christ Jesus speaking to us. And I trust that the coming week will be a great one for you and a fruitful one for you because the word of God will make a way for you. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. Help me to be a doer of all that I hear. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, my friends, it's been a joy sharing this week with you. I'll start something new tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.